I guess you recognize this young man here. Um, he's actually the star, okay, uh, so far, because the last video that we did up here, it has had, he doesn't know this, 352 views. You know, I kind of feel like, um, uh, what, what's that, uh, America Has Talent, okay, or Star Search? Um, kind of hate to say it, but he is the star, so anyway, we're back up here again. My son does not know this, but we're fixing to forge out a knife for him because he's such a great young man and uh, he likes him instead of me. But anyway, no, I'm just teasing. Can I call you my friend? All right. Okay. He's my friend and, and great neighbor. Anyway, um, he doesn't know this, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this for him because he does do a lot of things uh, on the side, in the back. Uh, behind the scenes and I just want him to feel like he's really appreciated and that he is special even though that you don't see him a lot uh, he will be here soon so we'll be doing a lot of filming but anyway uh, Lynn or my friend here was, was kind enough to uh, help me out here and we're going to forge him out a knife so we really hope that he appreciates this and uh, it will be a, a knife that he can keep for a lifetime because uh, you've seen the one I showed you on the video that he made for me. I don't know what this one's going to look like yet, but uh, he's the star, so it will depend upon him. So anyway, we'll go ahead we'll get started. Just goes to show you 
even Ricky might be able to kill somebody. Something. So what were you saying a while ago about uh, people should have a port where you could plug in and download yeah. stuff? Yeah, look, whenever I was slivering my apprenticeship, I was looking around at all those old men that was in that shop, and I was thinking about how hard it was for me to learn all that stuff. There's just so much information to, to try to get in your mind. And I was thinking that with those old guys that's going to learn this stuff, they've worked all their life to accumulate all that knowledge, and then they was going to die and it would be gone. I thought it would have been good if we could have had some way of plugging into those old guys and getting that information whenever they got through with it. And you just would have it. You wouldn't have to spend all that time learning. And, and you would just plug in and download it. Yep. That was before download was ever invented. Oh.
edges or you have to start all over. You, you get where you can't hammer his wheel as quick. You are miss. So you just have to stay in practice and not lock right about it.
people that's watching that see this going in order, they're going to scream. Why are they going to scream? Don't do that! We're putting the knife in there we just got through with. I've got the oven set for 1200 degrees. In about three hours I'll come back and take it out. What I'm doing is I quenched, if you noticed a while ago, I quenched it in the water. And I put it back in the forge and got it a little hot again, but I want to actually what I'm doing is going to take a little bit of stress out of it, but mostly the reason I do this is over tempers it where I can grind it and uh, not tear up so many grinding belts, soften it up a little bit. I like them.
This area and this area is the thickest part of the knife. And I'm wanting to heat this edge up to critical temperature. If I try heating this up without heating this first, I will, this will act as a heat sink and draw all the heat out and I will end up overheating the point before I get the cutting edge heated. So what I'm gonna do is heat this part first, this all on the back and this right in here so I can heat the edge up and get it critical. And I've got the oil set pretty close because with a 52-100 it's not as critical as like 10 and 95 or some, maybe W1, I'm not seeing the chart on it, but there's a chart to all the metals that whenever you quench it, you have a certain amount of time to get down to around 1100 degrees or you start picking up stuff that you don't want in in your cutting edge so that's we want them to heat it up to critical temperature quench it to below 1100 degrees and then we know it will get hard we could take it out and lay it down and it would get hard at that point but i always hold it in there anyway in the oil till it cools down pretty good second quench. We did our first quench with the water. So what we're going to do now is we'll go back reheat this baby up for the third and final quench. You hear that, Richard? Mm -hmm. That's what you call skating.
Patrick, Ricky, and I were talking about just leaving these uh, pins sticking out here like this or give you some traction in your hand. You wouldn't have to worry about dropping it that way. You could hold on to it. Zoom in. See the pins? Don't you think that would be handy for them sticking out?
I also want to give a great uh, shout out and thanks to my good friend and neighbor who took the time out of his busy schedule in order to make this knife. Um, he didn't have to, but he's such a great guy that he will drop everything that he's doing to help you if there's any way possible. And it's nice to have neighbors like that. Um, I do a lot for him as well. Um, I could definitely do more. But um, anyway, a big shout out to him. Thank you so much for doing this. I really, really appreciate that. And I know that my son will as well. Um, the finished product is this right here. Um, I actually had a leather sheath made for the knife as well as a uh, ferrule rod. And the knife itself, um, get it up here where I can show it to you. This is what it looks like. It turned out really, really well. See if the camera can focus on it. You see it's about a quarter of an inch thick. The tang is tapered at both ends. It's a full tang. That's a micarta handle. The same way as mine. The only difference in mine is I had my steel darkened. I left his shiny. Uh, the same thing, micarta handle. A little bit different type of micarta, but nonetheless it's still the same. Uh, it turned out a little bit slightly bigger. Every knife is not uh, identical. They all are uh, different, and the edge is <laughs> super sharp. Anyway, very nice um, sheath that I had made as well. Um, I actually took this down and had this custom made. I uh, took the knife down to have it fitted, but it's very nice work, and it fits the knife very well. And so I hope that uh, he's actually on his way now on the airplane from Houston. And when he gets here, I'm going to make him watch the video, and then I'm going to give him the knife. So he has no idea that we have done this. Anyway, if you like this kind of material, we do a lot of different things. Um, please subscribe. Uh, it does help out. And hit the notification bell for uh, whenever we put up new videos, it will let you know. And uh, the comment section, uh, if you've got any kind of comment whatsoever any ideas questions or anything like that feel free to put those in the comment section i enjoy reading those and i try to get back to the people as soon as i possibly can um, but anyway i hope that you enjoyed this content everyone have a great weekend be safe and i look forward to seeing you at the outpost in the future